We grew up originally in Los Angeles in 1950. We moved up to La Cunada and built a house. And it was like moving to a football field because there was property all over the place and no houses. When we were little, my folks took us to Sunday Mass. It, it was a great community, and I think it was a big influence. We never complained to go to church. It just was a family outing, and we bought in. My parents always wanted us going to Catholic school, kindergarten, eighth grade, all the way through. At the Catholic schools, they gave you so many opportunities to nourish your faith, and it just got better and better as the years went by. My dad grew up in San Francisco and went to the St. Ignatius High School, which is a Jesuit high school, it's still there. And so we were gonna go to Loyola. That was, it was not negotiable. The Jesuits preached, you're men for others at, at Loyola, and that was, they kind of made a big point of it. We watched them give to others, and it just kind of was automatic. The Catholic education meant a lot to us. It was really a guidepost for the long-term future. I think Tim believes in the dignity of every child. If they can afford it or not, they deserve the ability to have a chance to, to succeed. Tim is a very talented CEO, and obviously within his business, but also within the Catholic Ed Foundation, and running that is really plays to Tim's strength. In business, you're always evaluating risk. It will, will the investment give a good return? And I've often said the best investment you can give is in the education of kids on the margins. It's such a good investment because it works. You know, when you have a 98% graduation rate, your money's gonna be well spent. You know, the, the Smith brothers, they really bring the community into their dealerships. And I know personally there's a lot of people that benefit from Mike Smith, Bob Smith Toyota, and the Smith family. I know that for a fact. Verbum Day, and they had this work study program. They're getting the, the these high school boys to go out and work in the businesses. They come up to our dealership and they're provided four years of really feeling what goes on in the workplace. And I think that's really important because when we grew up, we had the gift of having a job opportunity, washing cars, whatever it was. These young men from Verb Day, they might not have had any opportunities to work in the workplace. And I've watched these kids grow. I think that's really important and a valuable thing for these young men. I think Tim did a great job stabilizing our board. Um, he helped us get some new trustees in there. He weathered out many years of some ups and downs, um, but his constantly, you know, rowing the boat, being inclusive with others with their ideas, um, encouraging all of us to think outside of the box in making Catholic schools and education more accessible. All those are the kinds of things that he did to, to really help our foundation. I think, you know, we learned at an early age that getting involved is rewarding and such a gift. And while it may look like they're out there giving, I think really, if you looked at Mike and Tim, it's what they're receiving uh, with all of their involvement throughout the Catholic Church. All you have to do is immerse yourself in your kids' education, in your business, uh, in your uh, parish. Whatever it is, if you immerse yourself in it, you're going to get involved. And you're going to enjoy it because you're with a lot of people that uh, really share the values that you share. Mike lives his faith. He carries his, his, his Bible with him every day. He's a daily communicant. He's a sacristan. He takes communion today, infirmed on Sundays. I would say Tim is a man who walks the walk. He lives out the gospel on a daily basis. So he's a great cheerleader. He, he really does cheerlead for everyone and wants to see the best for them. I just have so much respect for both of them uh, uh, in their own unique way uh, that they 
serve God, uh, serve their community. I'm in awe uh, of them.